Hey everyone, this is Andrew Bennett, the English Language Proficiency Assessment Coordinator here at the State Department of Education. And this is the is number three of six presentations that prepares the participant to understand the L identification process, which allows you to effectively and efficiently identify English learners in a standardized and reliable way. Thanks for joining me. During this presentation, participants will review the available WIDA screeners and screen out criteria for the Kindergarten WAPT, WIDA screener, and WIDA remote screener. Participants will also be able to locate and access specific screener resources to support a successful screener administration. This section will cover which specific WIDA screener to administer. The purpose of giving an English language proficiency screener is to verify a provisional L's eligibility to enter into a language instruction educational program to receive English language support services. The results of a screener can also be used to inform next instructional moves to close a particular English skills gap. This graphic depicts which screener to give depending on the student's grade level. In times of extended school closures, districts may need to use the WIDA remote screener to pre-identify provisional L's for English language support services. Again, this screener is only used when students cannot physically be in attendance to take either the WIDA screener or kindergarten WAPT. Upon school reopening, all students pre-identified for English support services are required to take either the WKWAPT or the WIDA screener to verify eligibility. The students will be formally identified at this time. Here is an overview of the Kindergarten WAPT. The Kindergarten WAPT, or KWAPT, is a paper-based test administered to first and second semester kindergarten provisional L's and first semester grade one provisional L's. The screener assesses reading, writing, listening, and speaking, and is given in a one-to-one -one testing environment. The Kindergarten WAPT takes approximately 25 to 30 minutes to complete and is hand scored during the test administration. More information along with the downloadable materials can be found by following the link below. Each screener has a specific screen out criteria. This infographic reviews the screen out criteria which is specific to the semester the screener is given. In the next section, we'll review the WIDA Screener Online. The WIDA Screener Online is administered to second semester grade one through grade 12 provisional L's. Provisional L's are assessed in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. It is especially important to notice that even though this is considered to be an online assessment, provisional L's in grade one through three take the writing domain via paper format. Multiple students in varying grades are able to take the WIDA screener at the same time. However, it is recommended that no more than five students be administered the WIDA screener online at one time. The WIDA screener takes approximately 40 to 60 minutes to complete. Scoring for the speaking and writing domain takes place after the screener session has been completed. Scoring is completed by a trained and certified test administrator, and many districts reserve this permission set to only be applied to the district test coordinators to ensure inter-rater reliability. The listening and reading language domains are automatically scored by the DRC Insight software. More information on scoring and inter-rater reliability can be found on the WIDA Secure Portal or by following the links below. Students with a need can take the WIDA Screener paper version. In this version, the WIDA Screener is presented all in a paper format. For example, the paper version of a WIDA screener may be considered for students who have very limited interaction with a computer in the past or who cannot use electronic devices due to a medical condition. School teams should review the accessibility and accommodation supplement for details on the administrative considerations available. Once a team determination has been made to administer the WIDA screener paper, school teams may download student response booklets from the WIDA Secure Portal. If a district needs the listening and speaking audio files that accompany the WIDA screener paper version of the test, these materials can be checked out from the 
SDE by contacting me, Andrew Bennett, the English Language Proficiency Assessment Coordinator at abennett at sde.idaho.gov. Listed on this slide is the screen out criteria for students taking both the WIDA screener online and the WIDA screener paper. In the next section, I will review when it may be appropriate to use the WIDA remote screener and where to find more information about Idaho's SDE guidance on when to use this remote screener. The WIDA remote screener is used in times of extended school closures. Districts can use the WIDA remote screener to pre-identify provisional L's for English language support services prior to being formally screened. Again, this screener is only used when students cannot be physically in attendance to take either the WIDA screener or kindergarten WAPT. Upon school reopening, all students pre-identified for English support services are required to take either the KWAPT or WIDA screener to verify eligibility. The student will be formally identified at this time. For more information on how to pre-identify a student for English support services, Reference the English Language Support Services Identification Procedure for use during extended school closures on the ELPA webpage. There are two different WIDA remote screeners. One covers kindergarten through grade one, and the other is administered to provisional L's in grades two through 12. The K through grade one remote screener only tests listening and speaking while two through 12 remote screener assesses speaking, listening, and reading skills. The WIDA remote screener is only a tool to pre-identify students for L services. The screener does not give English proficiency score and is not, a compar and is not comparable to the WIDA screener or kindergarten WAPT. For more information, please select the link below to access the test information on the WIDA secure portal. This section will list a number of resources you can use to become more acquainted with the various WIDA screeners. All resources that pertain to the WIDA suite of screeners can be found on the WIDA Secure Portal under the heading Screener Test Re Resources and Training. They are also hyperlinked on this slide. For technical assistance or for specific screener related questions, you may contact WIDA Client Service Center, the DRC Customer Service, or me, the ALPA coordinator at the Idaho State Department of Education.